Okay, um, we're looking at cost, volume, profit here, and our problem says the manager of this soft pretzel uh, place reviewed their monthly operating costs for the past year. Costs range from $22,000 for 10,000 pretzels to $8,000, $18,000 for 6,000 pretzels. Now, when we're calculating variable cost, um, the thing we got to look at is we're using what they call the high-low method here. And basically, this is the change in total cost divided by the change in volume. Okay. So, in this case, when we look at a change in total cost, um, our costs range from a high of 22,000 uh, to a low of 18,000. So if we take the 22,000 and subtract the 18,000, we get 4,000. And the change in volume, uh, if we look at that, the high was 10,000 pretzels, the low was 6,000. So if we subtract those, uh, we get 4,000 here as well. So 4,000 divided by 4,000 means we get a variable cost of $1 per pretzel. All right. Now, <clears throat> if we want to know total um, fixed costs, this is where we need to take the total or mixed costs we have to this point, and we have to subtract the variable costs multiplied by the number of units. So we know we had a high of 22,000 uh, for 10,000 pretzels. Uh, we had a low there of 18,000 for 6,000 pretzels. So we can use either combination of these numbers. So if we take the, um, the high range, we had $22,000 and we're going to subtract the variable cost we found in number one, which was one dollar, multiply that um, by the number of pretzels we have there in our high, which would be the 10,000. So we're looking at one times 10,000 means we're looking at 22,000 minus 10,000, which is $12,000 in total costs. <clears throat> now, we want an equation and then calculating the operating costs for 7,500 pretzels here. Well, operating costs are just essentially our fixed costs plus variable costs. So in this case, we know fixed costs, we found those in number two, is 12,000. We know variable costs uh, are one dollar per pretzel and we're looking at uh, 7500 pretzels so we would have 12,000 plus our variable cost of a dollar per pretzel multiplied by the 7500 pretzels which means we would have 12,000 plus 7500 means our operating costs would be $19,500. Okay. Uh, next for a graph, on total cost under this plan, we know fixed costs, we know they're 12,000. And this, this graph is gonna be a little small, but we'll try to fit it in here. We know total costs will be on the vertical, on a horizontal, um, we're going to end up having our uh, units, but we know at the base we have, what was it, 12,000. So if we do no pretzels, we still have to pay our fixed cost. But what happens, say, if we do oh, 1,000 pretzels? Well, if we do 1,000, we know variable costs are $1 per pretzel. So a thousand pretzels would be an extra thousand dollars. Add that on to the twelve thousand. So at one thousand pretzels, 
we'd be looking at a total cost of 13,000. If we look at 3,000 pretzels, um, we know a dollar variable cost per pretzel means $3,000 in variable costs plus our uh, fixed costs of 12,000 give us a total cost of 15,000, probably somewhere in there. And if we take this out a little further, um, maybe we're going to look at 5,000 pretzels here. Well, 5,000 at a dollar each for variable costs is 5,000. Plus our 12,000, we're looking at probably up in here somewhere for 17,000. So what we'd see is a graph looks something uh, like that. Okay. And <clears throat> this, this essentially is what we're looking at um, uh, for drawing the graph with the total cost under that plan. And there's our three data points. And number five, the break-even point if each pretzel sells for two dollars and fifty cents. What we want to look at here is basically break-even point is this thing wants to go nuts. Um, let's just get rid of that last part. And we'll continue on here. <clears throat> so, break even. Essentially, we're looking at this in the case of this is fixed costs divided by price minus variable costs. <clears throat> in this case, we know our fixed cost was uh, 12000 we know our price is 250. We know our variable cost is one dollar. So we get 12,000 divided by 1.5, which is 8,000 pretzels. So I hope this helps with a little bit of cost, volume, profit. Um, if anybody has any questions from my classes, they're welcome to contact me, uh, but enjoy.